All right, y'all, I got to get this out quick before I have to return to work real quick. Um, and that's talking about the NFL Week 15. And we, we the week started crazy. Like, the week started crazy. Um, if you heard, you know, last night, Urban Meyer got fired from Jacksonville. And now uh, there was even a whole rumor that he may have kicked a former kicker. I forgot the kicker's name already because I'm that slow with things um and then you know week 15 itself is a stacked stacked slate of games let me tell you my goodness tonight you know you got the chiefs and the chargers you know the chargers you know they've been on an upside chiefs on a definite upside so we'll see you know the duel between patrick mahomes and justin herbert we'll see how this duel goes you know and then saturday you know there's a couple of games on saturday patriots colts is really the big one here what kind of game are we going to get? Are we going to get a game where it's going to end to two hours because both these teams can run the ball? I don't know. The Browns, on the other hand, the Browns-Raiders game, on the other hand, I'd suggest you don't really take a good look at that one because COVID. Yeah, COVID is wrecking havoc on the NFL. It's wrecking havoc on the NBA. It's wrecking havoc on college basketball. Um, and there's so many Browns players out like... I think Jarvis Landry's out, Austin Hooper's out, I mean, everybody's out. I know Baker Mayfield might be out too, so Case Keenum might be getting the start, you know, for this game. So, like, th this game right here, it was, all, it was already rough because, you know, of the matchup it was, because these two teams are very inconsistent teams. But this matchup here right now, let me tell you, it is not, it is not going to be pretty. Uh, as we move over to Sunday, you got a lot of games here. You know, uh, I'm gonna discredit the Texans Jags again. The Jags have no coach. The Texans are terrible. Cardinals Lions because I mean, I'm assuming the Cardinals will bounce back. You know, after all that happened on Monday night. And even though it is Lions, obviously, you know, I'm not expecting the Lions to win this game. But I mean, hey. You never know in the NFL. Lions are eliminated from playoff contention, by the way. So are the Texans, Jags, and Jets. So we only have four teams eliminated, and nobody's clinched the playoff spots. So somebody's going to have to clinch something this week. Maybe. Maybe. Um, and also Seahawks, Rams in the late window. I'm going to discredit that, too. Along with Saints, Bucks, Vikings, Bears. Because, I mean, again, the Bears are terrible. There's really nothing to talk about there. Vikings are pretty inconsistent. Saints are itching to hell and back. They have Taysom Hill as the quarterback, and you don't really want that. You know, and this isn't early in the season in which the Saints, you know, punch teams in the mouth. You know, or rather, they punch Green Bay in the mouth in week one. And then, you know, things went downhill after that. You know, the whole Jameis Winston injury thing. I mean, the Bucks are playing great for football right now. You know, on offense at least. Defense, I don't, I don't know. You know, because I mean, I don't know how last week happened with the Bills, but I mean, it is what it is. You know, I've been saying it all season. The Bucks have had weak defensive corners, so you know, it is what it is. And I get it. You know, those guys have been, you know, injured the hell and back too. You know, the past couple weeks um, as well. Um. So really the game's to focus on Sunday. Titans, Steelers, that is going to be huge. Steelers are trying to stay in it, you know, because, I mean, again, there are 28 teams alive for 14 playoff spots, and we're only in week 15. That, that's the crazy part. We're in week 15, and we still have, you know, 28 teams buying for a playoff spot. Some of these teams are going to be able to clinch, hopefully, this week. I'm not sure what the scenarios are just yet, but I do know that somebody might be able to clinch something. And the Titans Steelers, you know, this is big. You know, Titans are trying to stay in the race for that number one seed, and they can do that if they beat the Steelers, you know. They can do that. You know, Derrick Henry might be back, you know, before playoff time, in fact. Um, I, I think, you know, I'm not sure what the injury reports and stuff like that is, you know. And, you know, somebody's got to rein in Chase Claypool, too, for the Steelers. Somebody's got to rein that man in. You know, he, he should be having big days and stuff like that. But, I mean, this is not the Steelers of old, you know, where, you know, the team had three Bs and, you know, was just looking like the Steelers, you know, looking like a good team. This is not the same Steelers. You know, Big Ben's old, O-line is shot, defense is terrible, and, you know, Najee Harris is really the only guy shining. 
at this moment. And the Titans, you know, obviously inched the hell back. And I swear they've had like 70 guys start for them this year. It's like, it, it's just, it's just been a mess. Uh, Bills need to get back on track against the Panthers. They really do. If they can't do that, it's going to be a, a rough one because, I mean, the, again, they're already two games behind in the AFC East. They're already two games behind. You know, I don't know what the Panthers are going to do. You know, it's the Cam Newton, P.J. Walker, two QB situation that Matt Rule is ringing out there, I guess. And, you know, I, I don't know how that's going to go. Washington and the Eagles, you know, I'm not sure if Taylor Heineke is going to play. It looks like, you know, there's also going to be um, some limited, you know, Jalen Hurts type things. So, you know, two injured quarterbacks, you know, they both play good for them. Um, definitely, this this game might be the game where somebody takes over that seventh spot because Washington holds it right now. The Eagles, I think, could take over that seventh spot if they win. Now, there's got to be a lot of mumbo jumbo in there as well because I mean, there's a lot of six and seven teams right now in the NFC. Um, my Dallas Cowboys taking on the Giants in the Meadowlands at MetLife. You know, it is going to be a rough game. Let me tell you, I'm not even sure who the Giants are going to play a quarterback. Um, and I mean, the Giants are also injured the hell of back. Like this, it's just been rough. The Cowboys got to get it together on offense. I mean, I get it, injuries and COVID. I get it, but you got to get it together on offense. You really do if you want to win games. You know, if you want to win the playoffs, you got to get it together at the right time. That's why the Chiefs are getting it together at the right time. That's why the Packers are getting it together at the right time. That's why the Buccaneers are getting it together at the right time. You see what I mean? You can't have you can't have just Micah Parsons. You can't have you know um, you know Trevon Diggs. You, you just you just can't have just a couple guys on defense. You got to get the whole defense together. I know Randy Gregory's playing too. And, you know he's playing lights out. You know. As he's come back to, I mean, it is what it is. Um, the Broncos and the Bengals, Broncos still reeling after you know what happened, and they they got these two teams have good ground games. You know, Joe Mixon for the Bengals, uh, the Broncos. You know, uh, not sure what they're bringing out. Probably Melvin Gordon, I think. Because I mean, I, I haven't watched the Broncos play a game in a while. I'm sorry. Um, I'm definitely gonna be looking at this game because I mean, you know. Of course, Burrow has weapons. Burrow has the weapons needed. But Teddy Bridgewater, you know, he's, he's been serviceable. That's why the Broncos are at this point. You know, serviceable games. The Broncos have been able to get through. And again, it's like a log jam of good AFC East teams, or at least teams that are over 500. A log jam of those teams as well. You know, Falcons 49ers also a big one. 49ers are 7-6, and six. Falcons are 6-7, and seven. Falcons are not the most consistent team in the world with Matt Ryan leading them, but hey, the 49ers aren't either, you know, the 49ers are not either, I mean, you got Debo Samuel doing whatever he wants out there, if he can do whatever he wants out there, you know, it, it, it could be a good time, him, Brandon Ayuk, you know, this could be a, this could be an interesting game right here. <clears throat> Um, Packers Ravens now both Aaron Rodgers and Lamar Jackson you know have been dealing with injuries you know Lamar Jackson obviously having the ankle injury it was I believe it was a day-to-day -day type thing and you know Rodgers with the uh, toe thing um, and this game is gonna be very very intriguing I'm not sure I don't think a lot of people are crediting the Ravens enough I know the Ravens have lost some guys you know it was either Marlon Humphrey or Marcus Peters that got lost to injury for the season. I forgot which one already. Um, um, so, you know, this this game right here is going to be really, really intriguing. Um, if you want to cap off your Sunday with that, go ahead and do so. Packers-Ravens is going to be one hell of a game. Um, again, Saints-Buccaneers, I'm not really too particularly interested in this game anymore. Um... I, I, I thought, you know, I thought it was going to be something, you know, worthy, but I guess not now. I mean, again, you know, the Saints are like 6-7, and seven, but they're an inconsistent 6-7, and seven, and that's because of the injuries. So, you know, a lot of injuries, a lot of COVID, a lot of crazy stuff going on that I don't like. I know there's been some flexes as well, so there's been some flex games and stuff like that as well. Oh, that have been placed, and of course, you know, there's so many... There's so many COVID injuries that are 
or rather not COVID injuries, COVID um, outbreaks among the teams and stuff like that. I'm not surprised, you know, I'm not surprised that things are going the way they will go. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, so with that being said, everybody, I am going to skedaddle and get on back with what I'm doing here because I got, got work to do. So I'm going to see you all um, Saturday night because we're going to have to talk to you know, some of these bowl games, the FCS semifinals um, and everything like that. And also the Andre Hopkins is done for the season two. I forgot about that. So I don't know what the Cardinals are going to do to either. So that being said, I'm going to see you all soon. Take care and hope you have a good rest of your week. Until then, see you again.